Oh, <sighs> all right. I'm finally done with my reactions for she and the Princesses of Power. I finished editing the last few. I finally got them all out. I did a premiere for the series finale, so I'm finally done with all of that, and I can take a break from doing reactions. One day later. All right, break's over. What is going on, guys? I am back with another reaction today, we are checking out the Owl House, and I'm very excited. A lot of you guys have been wanting me to check out this show. A lot of you have recommended it several times, but I was really focused on finishing up my She-Ra and the Princess of the Power reaction. Because as I said, with that show, I was watching one episode a day, so I had a whole bunch of reactions recorded that I was trying to edit and get out, so I was mostly focused on that. But now that I've finished with those, and now that I have a gap that I'm trying to fill now that She-Ra is over, I thought I would check out the Owl House because even my friend, I was just talking to him the other day, he said that Shira was next on his list and I told him that the Owl House was next on mine because he really wanted me to watch it, so now I'm finally watching it. Not totally sure what it's about, I think it has something to do with witches, I've caught up a couple of images while scrolling through it here. Also wasn't totally sure if I should start with this because a lot of people seem to discuss this show alongside Amphibia, another Disney Channel show, so I don't think they're technically connected, but I was wondering if I should maybe watch that one first and then watch the house alongside that, but more people seem to want me to react to this show and I really want to get into it, so I'm just going to do this. But if you guys are interested in seeing me react to Amphibia too, just feel free to let me know down in the comments. Alright, enough talk. Let's get into it. Do not underestimate me, Gilder Snake, for I am the good witch Azura, warrior of peace. Now eat this, sucker! Yo! My only weakness! Dying! <laughs> and that's the end. The end of what? My book report. <laughs> oh, that's a real snake. Sort. And what were you going to do with this? Do you remember why you were in the principal's office the last three times? Oh, happy dagger, give me death! <laughs> <laughs> you think that's an impressive trick? Take a look at this. Bleep, bloop, bleep. It is impressive. But if you can learn to separate fantasy from reality, you may need to spend the summer here. Hmm. I won't let you down. No more weirdness. <laughs> that doesn't count, right? Oh, oh my baby. Oh. Now don't worry. Summer camp is only going to be for three months. You'll be so busy balancing checkbooks oh. and learning to. I thought that we were gonna get an episode of her trying to not go to summer camp, and now we automatically jump right to it. So. Oh no. This is getting really relatable for me. Oh. Maybe there's something I can learn from this show. Who says that kids are the only ones who can learn something? An owl! This is raccoon turf, you owl! So I'm guessing this is the Owl House. Well, you know the old expression. Nope. Hopping away, you... Huh? Mm -hmm. Garbage! Garbage. And this... Ah, oh, this'll make good kindling. Excuse me, sorry, it's mine, thank you. You're not going anywhere. Uh-oh. Trapped in another reality. So I'm guessing the mom's gonna think she's at summer camp when she's actually spending the summer in this place. Are you going to tell me this is all a fantastical dream? Give me your skin! Ah! Where am I? Did I die? Am I in the bad place? Whatever gave you the idea you would in heaven 
This is the other place. <laughs> Oh, a human foot filled with holes, a bar of green human candy. Oh, oh, how about this black shadow box that reflects only sadness? Hey, that's deep. I am a respected man. Buster. Run, ah! ah! Eat of the owl lady. You are wanted for misuse of magic and demonic misdemeanors. You are hereby ordered to come with me to the conformatorium. Would you guys quit following me? Oh, that's what they're gonna relate over. Where have I heard her voice before? Uh, I'm trying to... She has voiced a character that I've heard recently. I'm just trying to think who it is. Oh, this is killing me. Yep, griffins, vampires, giraffes. Giraffes? Oh yeah, we banish those guys. <laughs> Bunch of freaks. What did giraffes do? As you can see by this graph. Ahem. <clears throat> graph. <laughs> Where have I heard her? What character did she voice that I'm thinking of? This is gonna kill me until I remember what it is. My house has a state-of-the-art defense system. Hoot hoot! Password please! We got no time for this, Hootie. Let us in. Alright, alright, Chiefs! Never want to have any fun! Ow! Hoot! Welcome to the Owl House. Oh, so this. This is the Owl House. Where I hide away from the pressures of modern life. Also the cops. Mm, also ex-boyfriends. <laughs> this place is beautiful. Actually, I have a roommate. Once a mighty king of demons, until his crown of power was stolen. I mean, this. You mean this little bundle of joy? The crown is being held by the evil Warden Rat, and locked away behind a magical force field that only a human can break through. Mm. A human like you. Where are we going? Somewhere super fun. Are you quite sure I found this activity to be fun? Unsuitable for society. You and I will sneak up to the top of the tower where they're holding my crown. And I'm gonna make sure the warden's distracted. <gasps> oh, hello, the disguise. Uh, I've been waiting to use this. Yeah, we have. It's hideous. Oh, you'll fit right in. The stupid warden likes to lock people up who don't fit in. Like, I write fanfics of food falling in love. I like food, I like love. Just let me write about it. <laughs> I'm here because I like eating my own eyes. Oh. Oh. I, um... You're all just a bunch of weirdos. Like me. Hmm. Is this true, or is it going to turn out that releasing all these people is a bad idea after all? I can hear you. <laughs> I can hear you. Wait, I'm free! <laughs> Let this be a lesson to all of you. There's no place in society for you if you can't fit in. The show is simultaneously adorable and really horrifying, too. No! My weak nerd arms! <sighs> Come on, before he hurts himself. Light bulb! But why does it have to be so far away? Yes, yes, I can feel my powers returning. Wait, 
Does that say Burger Queen? No, there did used to be a Burger Queen because my dad told me that he worked there back in the day, but for some reason they got rid of it and now there's only Burger King, which, I mean, not that that really matters to me because I'm vegan, but, you know, just fun facts. Oh, and here I am, missing cool character moments. Too late. I've never actually broken any of your stupid laws in front of you. I want you to go out with me. What? Uh. Go, boss! You've always eluded our capture. You've always been the one who got away. I found that alluring. I hate everything you're saying right now. You stay out of this! We'd be the strongest power couple ever. Can you come closer? No, well, just come a little bit closer. Just... Yes, that's very relevant right now. Expecto buying magic kiss, escape kiss. Got it, magic stick. You know, this guy kind of reminds me of what's his name, Frollo from Hunchback of Notre Dame, I think that's his name. He's like the head of the government and, you know, is always like hunting down the gypsies, but he himself like actually really wants Esmeralda. That, that's what he makes me think of. Hellfire, dark fire. Oh, that is cool. Because us weirdos have to stick together. And nobody should be punished for who they are. Yeah! Now let's get them! Yeah! Do not underestimate me, Warden Rath. For I am Luce, the human. Warrior of peace. Now eat this, sucker! <laughs> And become a witch like you and Azor. All right, I'll teach you how to be a witch, but you have to work for me before you learn any spells. Deal? Oh, good thing there's still cell phone reception. <clears throat> Your sleep cocoon looks fluffy. Dana Terrace. Ooh, ooh. A little glimpse at all the things we might see throughout the season. Okay. Alright guys, so that was episode one of The Owl House. I actually really enjoyed that. I can definitely see the appeal of this show. It's got a lot of those familiar elements of a lot of cartoons that I like, but it's also, it, it does a good job of distinguishing itself too. It's a very kind of weird and out of the box type feeling. And they also establish that these are very imperfect characters in an imperfect situation, but they just uh, embrace the weirdness. So I imagine the rest of the season is gonna be doing a lot of that too. I really like the main character, Luce. I thought she was a lot of fun and I like her kind of quirky personality. And I, I, I apologize. I'm always really bad with character names, especially at the beginning, but this witch character, I really liked her as well. She was really entertaining. I have heard her voice somewhere in something very recently, and it's like right on the tip of my tongue. 
what it is, but it is killing me. So, and I know that after this, I'm going to look it up and see what it is. And it's going to be so obvious. I'm like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. How did I not recognize where I heard her from? But anyway, she's a cool character and her voice actress is also very good wherever I've heard her from. I can tell there are going to be a lot of interesting characters in this show, like those uh, people that we meet inside the prison. And the villain is really interesting too, this warden character, you know, he's kind of trying to make everyone conform and be the same, which is similar to the situation that Luce was dealing with back in her world. Again, he kind of reminds me of Frollo from The Hunchback of Notre Dame in that he's always very judgmental of the gypsies and everyone else who steps outside of the norm, but he himself was really, really attracted to Esmeralda and he wanted her, which is kind of similar to this situation. So he just made me think of that. So I wonder if there are going to be other, any other similarities I notice. I'm also very interested by the premise. It's kind of similar to Gravity Falls where the main characters uh, go somewhere else for the summer, although it's not quite the same situation. I wonder if they're going to develop that more because Luce is lying to her mother that she's at summer camp, so I'm willing to bet that's going to come to play. Maybe she's going to feel a little guilty about that, or maybe her mom is going to find out and she's they're going to have to have a moment where her mom, you know, finally embraces who she is and lets her do what she needs to. And I know I'm thinking way too long term, but I imagine that might be really emotional if they eventually get to the end and like, well, but summer camp is technically over, so my family's gonna expect me to go back home. But I'm thinking way too long term. I mean, I just finished an emotional series finale that I'm not totally over. I, I don't need to be thinking about another one. But what did you guys think of this episode? Feel free to share your thoughts down in the comments. Let me know what you think. And again, if you're interested in also seeing me react to Amphibia, I see that brought up with the Owl House a lot, then comment and I might just get around to that too. Be sure to like, subscribe, and check out my other videos over here. It really does mean a lot. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next reaction.